If you're looking for sturdy and reliable side rocker protection for your 05 or newer double cab Toyota Tacoma, these Body Armor 4x4 Revo Rock Sliders will be a great addition to your build. Now these will be a great choice for the Tacoma owner who is taking their truck off-road, doing any overlanding or rock crawling, and they need a rock slider that they can count on to protect the pinch weld as well as the rocker area. Now, not only will they slide off any obstacle that they come in contact with, but they will offer some more off-road appeal to the side of the truck and even offer a subtle step into the truck or the bed for whenever you need it. Now, this set of sliders will be able to take some abuse with the double one and three quarter inch steel pipes and textured black powder coat finish. Now, not only will these be able to take the hit of any obstacle, but they will stay out of the way of most of them with a high clearance 25 degree angle position. Now that will ensure you can make the most of your breakover angle while also looking very clean and neat up against the truck. Now what I like most about this set is that you'll be able to mount this to the frame, which will offer a lot of stability compared to any body mounted options. When it comes to the price, these will be pretty average for a high quality slider at roughly $800. Now what makes these stand out compared to other choices is that angled construction in my opinion, when most other choices will tuck closely to the truck but will also stick out a little further than this choice. Now others also may mount to the body like I mentioned before or may have a stepping pad design for accessibility as well as protection. Now again, I think if you're in search of a serious set of sliders that will offer you the clearance and the durability that you need for your Tacoma, then this is a great pick. Now, install will be a pretty straightforward one out of three wrenches on the difficulty meter, taking you about an hour to get the job done with some pretty basic hand tools. Now, at this point, we can head over to the shop and check out a detailed breakdown of the install. So that's gonna wrap it up for me. Let's go ahead and get into it. Tools required for this install include a ratchet, an extension, a half inch to three eighths adapter, and a 12, 14, and 21 millimeter sockets. So our first step is going to be to remove one of our bolts from our drive shaft support bracket. So our bolt is missing, but this is going to be the location where it is. It's going to be right behind the flange for the exhaust on the passenger side. So now's a good time to grab yourself a buddy to hold up the other side, or get yourself a set of jack stands like I did to hold it up while we get our bolts in. So now we can come back under the truck and we're going to reinstall that bolt that we just took out of our drive shaft support bracket. Now, like I said, ours was missing, so we're gonna move on to the next step, but you have to reinstall this bolt here at home. So now on the inside of the frame rail, right next to our Y pipe, we're gonna have to remove this little cover. There's a 12 millimeter nut here, and then we can get access to the inside of our frame rail. So now we can take our long bracket. We're gonna be fishing this through the inside of the frame rail. And then we're gonna be lining it up with our bolt holes that correspond to our front bracket on our side step. So now I've got a buddy holding that bracket on the inside of our frame rail into place. And then we can slide our side rail up. And we're gonna be putting a bolt with a locking washer and a flat washer through that hole. And now we'll put our bolt through on the other side. So now moving to the back, we're gonna grab our bracket with a welded nut on there. That's gonna go on the inside of the frame rail. And then we'll take our bolt through the front side and thread that in. And then we'll do the same on the other side. So this one's gonna be a little bit hard to see. From the outside of the truck, it's to the left of the bolt that we just installed. We're gonna be using the same bracket with the nut welded to it and the same bolt on the front side.
So on our rearmost tab, we're gonna be using our S bracket. Now this top lip's gonna clip over the top and then we're gonna put a spacer in between. And then we'll take another one of our bolts with our locking washer and our flat washer and thread it up through. And then we can tighten that down with our 21 millimeter socket. So now on our middle tab, we're gonna be using our L-shaped bracket. Once again, the side is gonna clip in onto our frame rail. And then we'll run our bolt up and through. And then once again, we'll take our 21 millimeter socket, snug this down. So that's gonna wrap it up for my review and the install of the Body Armor 4x4 Revo Rock Slider. It's fitting all 05 and newer double cab Toyota Tacomas. More videos and products just like this, remember to always keep it right here at extremeterrain.com.